Have you ever used loops or samples and then your beat kind of got boring over time? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to switch up your beat and make your beat less boring. And stick around to the end of the video for a special Omnisphere giveaway. What's poppin' music gang? If you're new to the channel, you want more videos on music production, beats, tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. So I got a beat right here ready to go. Um, I, I pretty much used five different tips on how to pretty much make the beat not so boring so i'm just going to pretty much show you each one of those tips the first one would be to use a reverse gate this is probably like one of my favorite tips out of all and uh, i just went ahead and just put it first so you can just quickly get this tip so let's just hear this beat and after the beat started i pretty much used a reverse gate so let's just hear it real quick Okay, okay, okay. See, like I pretty much used a reverse gate, and um, it's really simple to do. Let me show you exactly what how to do it. Um, so this is the loop um, that I use, and all right. So here's the reverse gate that I use. So it's pretty much a plugin that I use called Initial Reverse, and I love this plugin. It's it's really cheap too. So you can easily get this plugin. Sometimes when I just want to change the beat and I just don't want to just use a regular halftime, I use this right here. It's kind of like a reverse thing. So let me show you to hear the sample real quick. Yeah, that sounds pretty fire and it's really easy to set up you know i just um you got different options and different modes on how much you want the reverse to be like a, a half beat reverse two bar beat reverse uh one and over four bar beat type reverse and it's real easy to set up and the trick is once you set this up normally it'll probably be like this but just fade this in this this uh or it probably it might be like this with the zero fade but um once you open this plug in, just turn this fade up just a little bit and uh, it'll pretty much have like a like a, a gate type of thing. And this is a reverse plug in. So you add the, the gate with the reverse. It's a whole new sound. For the next tip, you can pretty much just add effect tricks. So effect trick is a pretty easy plug in. A lot of you guys know about it. So what I did on this part, on this on the verse part, I, I turned on the effect trick effect. We can, we can just hear it real quick. So I pretty much got different reverse coming in and I have time to beat as well. So it sounds a little bit different, super easy to do. You can also, they also have different type of um, presets in here, super simple. So the next one I will suggest you do is switch up your drums. That one's super easy to do too as well. You can uh, put a kick in at certain parts of the beat. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a kick in this verse part. So that's something I could do right right now real quick. Just probably add a kick in there. Let's add this one. Cool, simple. I just added a quick little uh, repeated pattern for the kick. Super easy. And uh, you can do the same. You could probably add a different 808, you know what I'm saying, when the verse hits. Yeah, so for this next tip, what you could do with the loop or sample to just change it up so it's not as boring throughout the beat. You can just easily pitch up or pitch down the melody. So uh, I didn't really do that on this beat. And then when you're pitching up the beat too, make sure you um, go to the quick little sentence here and then make it make a unique version. So it's just not the whole beat. It's just that one part, you know what I'm saying? All right, so boom. So the last tip that you could pretty much do 
is you can have time to be i mean a lot of you guys know about this there's a different plugin you guys should take a look at so here go this plugin that i use for this beat from the same company as the other plugin that i showed you with the reverse effect um this is kind of like girls beat but different you know what i'm saying mainly more as far as like the half time and thing uh this is the normal half time that you'll probably do in gross beat but you have uh, a one over two bar half time you know a two bar half time you know what i'm saying different type there's multiple different half times you could do and um let's just hear that real quick all right so here's the regular half time that i did okay so here's a different half time And depending on your melody, it may sound good or worse, depending on, you know what I'm saying, the, the loop or that the loop or sample that you're using. Uh, here's a different one, like a two bar one. I like that. That, one, that one's pretty cool. And, you know, eight bar, four bar. See, pretty cool and you can literally set this up with your beats and um, make them less boring you know what I'm saying especially if you're, just, if you're just using one loop or just one sample and uh, hopefully you take these tips and I hope hopefully they help you create really great music hey if you made it this far I'm giving away five copies of Omnisphere which is a great program for all of you guys uh, if you want to enter this giveaway all you got to do is subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell make sure you follow me on Instagram and comment down below what would you like to see from this channel what kind of videos would you like to see let me know in the comments let's let's talk let's communicate hope you guys stay safe and remember it's only a matter of time peace